Hi guys, I'm back uh, with the Talos Principle. Um, you know, another day of uh, batch editing here. Um, I'm Juliana, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Uh, we're pretty early into this, but if you would like to go back to the previous episodes, that'd be great. Um, so I'm just kind of futzing around here. I just finished with the terminal, and there's a guy that's running around. Have we seen this before? Probably. Huh. Nope, nope, this is different, different one. <clears throat> huh. Sorry, I know I'm just exploring the island, but it's kind of nice to see, like, how fast this entire little island is and how well thought out it was and, you know, everything kind of has its place and... Looks like what we woke up on. I'm also looking for like uh, one of the little QR codes. Just because there's so many walls. So much wallness. Something strange has come into the world like a distortion, something that's not supposed to exist. Uh, a beautiful voice speaks within it. Bob, V25.5.0736. That voice is not supposed to be here. It does not work. It is not the work of the designer. We must avoid these abnormalities or they will spread and undermine the very fabric of our world. One with faith, V10.1.0098. So I think they're talking about um, the the envelope that we got um, earlier. That you know, her voice is not supposed to be here. That her part of the archive is not. But then again, she kind of stated that she was leaving them behind as kind of a after thought. Um, find their stairs. I'll take the stairs. Maybe. I do have to say, I, I love how much detail went into this game. 
Alright, so I think I'm gonna head on back since we've completed like A at this point. We've kind of read everything in here and I know it's taken me five minutes to just run through here, but uh, I figured, you know, what the heck. Um, okay. <sighs> Keep seeing those two star things. And I wonder about it, but, um, right, and that's there, and that's there, and I need, mean... alright, so, let's see, alright, so three's next with four, as soon as I finish this, alright, so, You're not gonna work. There we go. Woo! I'm not going to explore. Except in this little antechamber, and then I'm gonna run back through. And we're just gonna clear out this first. Like, as we go, I'll finish off, like, the... the puzzles that I can get, but... Ah! Sorry. Uh, loading... Library session done, mounting disk, 47 million distributed resources found, connecting network drivers, error network inaccessible, library archive session ready, searching for locally cached resources, AI feedback, team leads, uh, Stratagera, uh, Stratton of Stratagera. I can get this, I promise. All right, AI feedback, EML. We keep discussing what an artificial what an artificial intelligence would mean to us and how it would change our understanding of the world. That's a great topic, and I think we've covered it extensively. What we've barely mentioned, though, is the other side of the coin. I mean, our lives would still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question is, I think we should. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. What would it be like to be that creature? To suddenly come into being created from another as an experiment? To suddenly come into being created by others as an experiment? To have all that information about yourself? To know exactly how you function. What would you think about the world? Would you see meaning? Beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexandra, thank you for your feedback, but this is a, this is a philosophy class, a course, not a science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up on my studies. That's a really interesting question and, you know, brain food right there. Uh, Teamleads.email. Uh, we're blessed to have so many people contributing to this project. We've got to make sure everyone is on the same page. P please refer 
to the following people when W Hex, uh, Alexander uh, Alexander Drennan project lead AI module, um, Nadja Sarabi, uh, Institute coordinator Rog McLean, EL Software, Trevor Donovan, EL Hardware, George Jameson, um, Generation Module, Alan Jameson, Scenario Module, uh, Bob Rakowski, uh, Simulation Module, um, Radari Brickmont, uh, Error, uh, Aurora Calvin, uh, Link Hardware, Omar Garib, uh, Link hardware or software, um, error planning, um, maintenance module, J.E. Harrison, diagnostic error, uh, Frank Negati, uh, memory module, Jared V. Uh, Smithel, Smithel, I apologize, uh, files, we can assume that's systems, but there's an error after sys, um, Sunway Yang, um, Talos unit, formerly SOMA. Um, though not directly a part of our project, the Achieve team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues uh, to resolve, please contact project lead Arati, Arkady uh, Chernes Cherneski. Um, don't worry, he's nice. Uh, lots of hex. So I apologize about all the names I just butchered, um, but yeah, so there's some hacks, some more hacks, people whose names we've seen before, so yeah. Uh, Stratton of Stradaria, dot wiki. Uh, Stratton of Stradaria, uh, 311 to 254 BC was a Greek, uh, materialist philosopher associated with the Peripedic, Peripedic School, an admirer of Aristotle, he was a proponent of empiric, empiricism uh, and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truths. Though unpopular with many of his peers for his often acerbic personal manner, his commentaries on Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. All right. All right. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, we have four tetrominoes to get. And one of them's red, but that's okay. Two of them are parts we need. Let's go. Oh, there's this. Oh, okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm gonna go around the long way. Alright, so this one I need. Uh, slash stash for later. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go around this way and see how that works. And there's the gate. Okay. Oh, <sighs> bright and shiny. Take a minute. I'll be back. Maybe. Uh, if I don't die. Oh. Yay. Okay. 
actually. I know I need the damn key. I just don't know where the damn key is. Okay. Woo! Got the keys! That was a weird sound. Got it, got it, got it. Die, guys. I'm so excited. I didn't even die. Alright. Uh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Alright. Alright, so. And we'll just go this way. We'll just go this way. We'll just go this way. Okay. QR code. It's clear I'm not the first to walk this path. In fact, the whole thing seems to have been consciously designed, but the voice in the sky or some other force. But by the voice in the sky or some other force. Sheep B 69.1.0018. Sorry. Do -do 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 -do. Locked up and swallowed the key. Okay. Let's see what we got going. Nothing, nothing. Jammer. Jammer, jammer. And jelly. The door is locked. Almost got that one. Now I just need to figure out the box. Um, just 
and that's the thing I missed earlier. Hmm. And now I'm in the water. Okay. I'm cheating, okay? I worked this out on another one, okay? That's what that's what this is. Yay! Come on. Things are dead. done. What the fudge? Oh, no. The, there, this one. Okay. Alright, an escalating problem. Okay, that's actually cool. Um, I spent much time waiting for the designer to take my hand until I realized that he had been guiding me all along. I realized that it isn't for me to seek his help, it's for me to help myself. One with faith, B10.1.00177. Okay. Alrighty. Escalating problem. Okay.
Oh. The counsel of my blessed messengers must be earned. Please, if anyone with... Please, if anyone with any sensible ideas can read this, I could really use some advice. Moo Kitty 15 V99.9.0005. No messenger will aid you until you have discovered their resting place. Return here and then sink their council. Auto responder. B0.0.001. Interesting. Here, those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I couldn't even manage it right, damn it. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, guys. Wow, that took me forever. I apologize. Um... <laughs> Julianne is an idiot. Oh, okay. Alright. Escalating problem. Alright, let's Okay, so that's my bad way. Um, all right, and all right, let's see if I can do this. Run. I think I'm gonna go and solve for this one because all I have left is that big L and I think I need some help or some other brain power so I'm gonna go solve um, not that way Juliana um, the puzzles over here um, yay all right so There is much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. But children are made to learn, and in time they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So it shall be with you and your generations. Jesus. Okay. Alright, so I don't think I need any of those things there yeah no those are i just need more brains for for that one so i'll leave that off and i'll come back next time with that uh thank you guys so much for watching uh please like comment and subscribe and let me know if i'm doing it wrong in the comments below um yeah so thank you guys so much i'll see you next time bye